He has won a Pulitzer Prize and his column in the Miami Herald is a must read for people across the country. Leonard Pitts Jr's new book Freeman tells the story of three characters dealing with the new realities of a post slavery South. And we're pleased to be joined now live by the author, Mr. Pitts. Welcome to First and Four. It's a real honor. To Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Uh, the Civil War and in particular America after the Civil War has right. been something folks in Richmond have been dealing with for a long time right. as the capital of the Confederacy. Are there things that we can learn in this story that you tell uh, about what happened in just the, the few weeks after uh, the Confederacy lost? I think the one aspect that really hasn't been touched a lot, whether in fiction or even in history, is you know what did the slaves do? Right. How did they construct freedom? Uh, the thing that impelled me to, to write this book and that, that I found just overwhelmingly poignant was the lengths to which that they would go to reconstruct their families. The, the, the book is about a man who walks from Philadelphia to Mississippi trying to find a, a wife he hasn't seen in 15 years. And those those things actually happen. People walked hundreds of miles looking for loved ones. Uh -huh. And you talk a lot about in, in the, some of the press that I've read that mm. there's obviously some important themes that you want to bring up in this book, but it's also entertaining. This is a love story. Right. It has a compelling narrative. Why was it important to present these themes in that way? Well, I, you know, I, I, I like the idea, you know, just the, the commitment that is, that is involved. You know, we, we talk about love these days and, and it's sort of a different thing. It's more of a, more of a flimsy thing it sometimes right. seems. Right, right. But the idea of somebody saying, I'm going to walk from, Phil from Pennsylvania to Mississippi because I love you with no assurance that I'm going to find you, no assurance that you are, are even alive, no assurance that you have not found another husband, but I'm still going to do that. That to me is, is the pure stuff. That's the real deal. Right. And I just felt that's a story that you know needs telling. Right. Obviously, there's an overtone of the challenges of race in our mm -hmm. history, something we're still dealing with every day in this country. And you've been one of the leading voices mm -hmm. in the aftermath of the Trayvon Martin case. Right. Are there things, I know this isn't a resolved situation by any means, but are we learning in this particular situation as it continues to be discussed? I think the problem is we're we're relearning. <laughs> that's that's what troubles me. Right. It's not that the lessons are new. Uh, the lessons are, you know, are lessons that we've seen before and been presented with before, but uh, we seem to be stubbornly, um, you know, refusing, uh, stubbornly resistant to picking up the lessons of some of these, you know, not only the Martin case, but other, you know, similar cases uh, that we've been presented with. Right. Okay, Leonard Pitts Jr., so thank you so much sir, for joining us. You'll be thank you very much. Uh, tonight at 6.30 at Fountain Books uh, if, if people would like to meet you and, and get a copy of the book. We appreciate it, sir. I appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you.